let's blast off with Astro Links into outer space. Son. Hey there, Leo. I'm Leo, and today I'm Astrolynx, an astronaut, Lynx, and a cosmic citizen of Earth and beyond. I'm curious and changing for the better, and so are you, always. Did you do your stretching today? What about your dancing? Great, good job! Now that we've practiced our alphabet and know it has 26 letters, let's see what 26 stars look like. Oh wow, that's a lot of me's. <laughs> sure is, but there's really only one of you, son. Just like there's only one of me and only one of you too. Everyone and everything in the universe is unique, even if we appear similar. From humans to ants, to bushes and trees, to giraffes, cows and pigs, each unique, each so valuable and awesome. Isn't that the truth? And thank goodness, more than one of me is just too much sass, too much spice and too much sweetness for one solar system. We definitely only need one of you, son, and you're absolutely perfect giving all of us on Mama Earth the perfect amount of sunshine. Hey Leo, can we see what 26 meteors look like? Sure son, here we go. Oh wow, that's a lot of meteors. It is, and meteors are space rocks that are fragments of asteroids, comets, or even our moon or Mars. Do you know what meteors are called before they are called meteors, Leo? Uh, not too sure. What are they called, son? Meteoroids. And when they fall into your atmosphere, the Earth's atmosphere, they are then called meteors. They burn and glow brightly as they fall towards the ground. And if there's a piece left that lands on Earth, you call those meteorites. No way! Can we go find meteorites? You sure can. With your mommy or daddy, you can explore dry lake beds or deserts if you live near one. Or maybe you can visit one on vacation. Look for dark colored rocks in the sand. Bring a magnet or metal detector because they are usually made of different metals. Wow, that sounds like so much fun, son. Thanks. Sure thing. What about 26 astronaut lynxes? What does that look like? Great idea! Let's see. Oh wow, that's quite a big group of me's. Astro lynxes. Let's try human astronauts now. Hmm, I wonder what you call a group of astronauts. Well, I know we call a group of suns a star system or a star cluster, and a group of lions is called a pride, a group of birds, sheep or goats is called a flock, but not sure about us astronauts. Hey, do you know what we call a group of astronauts? Oh, that's right! A group of astronauts is called a crew, and that's quite a crew. Leo, do you think our audience can show me how to count to 26 today? Or maybe they're too sleepy. Hey everybody, do you want to help Sassy Sun learn how to count to 26 today? Or are you too sleepy? No? Really? Yes you can. Okay great, thanks! Sun! They said no to being sleepy, and they said yes to helping you count to 26. Are you ready, son? Absolutely. Thank you. Okay, son. Count with us. Here we go. 
What's the first number? One. one. That's right. Let's see what one letter looks like. How about one sun? And one meteoroid. Then one meteor. Then one meteorite. And finally, what about one astronaut? Yay, one is fun. I agree, super fun, son. Okay, what number comes after number one? Two, two. that's right. Two is the number that comes after one. Here's two letters, two suns, two meteoroids, two meteors, two meteorites, and two astronauts. Two suns, that's two times the sass, two times the spice, and two times the sweetness. I think one of me is probably best, Leo. Absolutely, son. Okay, what number comes after two? Three, that's right. Three comes after number two. Let's see what three letters looks like. Three suns, three meteoroids, three meteors, three meteorites, and how about three astronauts? Three suns, that's three times the sass, three times the spice, and three times the sweetness. <laughs> that's right, son. You're so smart and so silly. Okay, what number comes after three? Four, that's right. Four comes after three. And four letters looks like this. Then four suns, four meteora. <laughs> Meteor what? <laughs> four meteoroids, four meteors, four meteorites, and four astronauts. Four suns? That's four times the sass, four times the spice, and four times the solar giggles. You got it. That's like saying one thing, but multiplied four times. Okay, what number comes after four? Five, yes, number five comes after four. Now we can see five letters, five suns, five meteoroids, five meteors, five meteorites, and five astronauts. Five suns? That's five times the shine and five times the fun. Exactly. When we count like this, we see how one thing can be copied many times. Okay, what number comes after five? Six. You got it. Let's see six of everything. Six letters, six suns, six meteoroids, six meteors, six meteorites, and six astronauts. That's six times more brightness and six times the sass. That's right, son. Okay, what number comes after six? Seven! That's right, very good! Now we've got seven of each. Seven letters, seven suns, seven meteoroids, seven meteors, seven meteorites, and seven astronauts. Seven suns? That's seven times the solar silliness. I might just sass myself into another solar system. Silly son, you're so silly. Okay, what number comes after seven? Eight, we're doing great. That's eight of each. Eight letters, eight suns, eight meteoroids, eight meteors, eight meteorites, and eight astronauts. Eight suns means eight times the sweetness. Hmm, eight times the spice, too. Watch out, universe. <laughs>
Okay, what number comes after eight? Nine, that's right, very good. Now we can see nine letters, nine suns, nine meteoroids, nine meteors, nine meteorites, and nine astronauts. If one sun makes me dance, then nine suns makes me spin like a solar top. Whoa, that's gonna make you dizzy. <laughs> You're so silly. Okay, what number comes after nine? 10, that's double digits. And 10 means 10 times the fun. And now we can see 10 letters, 10 suns, 10 meteoroids, 10 meteors, 10 meteorites, and 10 astronauts. 10 times the fun, one big bright blast of joy. You're so joyful, son. Okay, now we have number 10. What, co what number comes next? 11, that's right, excellent. Now we are seeing 11 letters, 11 suns, 11 meteoroids, 11 meteors, 11 meteorites, and 11 astronauts. Whoa, even I'm blinded by all this sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. That's almost a dozen sassy suns. Wait a minute, a dozen? What, what does that mean? Oh, silly me, I need to be specific. A dozen is another word for 12 of something, like suns, or books, or mangoes. Okay, so then what number comes after 11? A dozen. Oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay, son. How many's in a dozen? 12, yay! Great job, everyone. 12 makes a dozen. Look, now there's a dozen or 12 letters. 12 suns, 12 meteoroids, 12 meteors, 12 meteorites, and 12 or a dozen astronauts. 12 times the sass. One solar dance party. Oh my goodness. That's just a joke. Um, I'm not even sure that's a thing. I love it. How about we make it a real thing? What do you think, everyone? Should 12 sassy suns equal one solar dance party? Awesome. Let's dance.